Olá, tudo bem? Meu nome é Rafael Procópio, esse é o canal Matemática Rio. Nesse vídeo, eu vou estar junto com Felipe Dib do canal Você Aprende Agora, professor de inglês, para falarmos um pouquinho aí de pizza, de fração e resolvermos um probleminha aí envolvendo pizza fração em inglês, beleza? Pronto para treinar o seu inglês? Vamos lá, vem com a gente! Acesse a nossa plataforma www.matematicario.com.br e tenha a experiência completa de aprendizagem em matemática. Agora, vem comigo! Hello, my friend. How are you doing? We know mathematics is everywhere. And in this video, I'm going to comment a situation Rafael Procopio will explain better to you. Imagine you were arriving in Miami with your friends. You arrived there and you were very hungry. So, what can we eat here? Oh, let's share a pizza. When you buy a pizza and you want to share with your friends, you can do the four operations. You can do multiplication, you can do division, you can do addition, and you can do subtraction too. But you can also do fraction. For fractions, we use one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, one seventh, one eighth of this pizza. And after you share this pizza with your friends, you need to pay for this pizza. And then you need to do the calculus when you pay, when you receive the change. But I am not an expert in mathematics, so I'd like to ask you, Rafael Procopio, to solve this problem for us. Please help us share this pizza, help us pay the fare. Well, Felipe Gibi, this is the problem that I bring to us here. Let's read together. Reasonableness. Marty ate four sixths of his pizza and Louis ate five sixths of his pizza. Marty ate more pizza than Louis. How is that possible? And then the student, very wisely, answered this way. Marty's pizza is bigger than Louis' pizza. So, even if the fraction 4 sixths is smaller than the fraction 5 sixths, if Marty's pizza is bigger, way bigger, he ate more at the end, right? But the teacher said that is not possible because 5 sixths is greater than 4 sixths, so Louis ate more. There's a mistake in the teacher's thought he of course he would like to compare the fractions but the students were very smart and answered this way i would agree with the student what about you in the other side of the screen would you agree with the student or not thank you very much i'm felipe Gibi. see you next class So, if you like this video, just click in the like button and share this video everywhere. Thank you very much. See you next class.